Hello and welcome back to Home Sweet Home. We are here outside Zach's apartment, which I discovered by accident. Uh, but it is guarded. Uh, there's two guards out there. And uh, I don't have the key. And I don't know where to find the key. But... Zach... Hmm. Also, I don't even know where I am. That's on the west side somewhere. Maybe here? Possibly here. Something there? Quit tapping with me, guys. You think you can come, out, you. come back here? So for some reason that was really noisy. Alright, so he is opposite here, so that's Zack. Well, they're uh, definitely on edge. I need to find my way back to the police station. Because... Right, how do I get out of here? When Zack was at the police station, he... Uh... Oh, that's right, that's... I've been in there. He leapt out of the police station balcony into the canal, and I'm guessing that's when he lost his key. Should I come out this way? And to the right here. Yeah. I'll go see if I can find Zach's key. Either that, or. I thought I found the key in the evidence locker, but maybe that was... Uh, maybe that was not the key I was after. Let's check the bottom of the canal here anyway, just, just to be safe. Otherwise I might have to go back in and check the evidence locker to see if I was just stupid and didn't pick up the key. Alright. Let's check the evidence locker. <sighs> I'm stupid and didn't pick up the key. Alright, uh, that's all it was. No need for searching or hunting or anything fancy. Back to the west then. I should probably get a, try to get there on foot, right? Suddenly as I'm going in by the canals, people can see me. This is number 19. So that alleyway I'm guessing goes through. Yep. There we go, it's alright. Hmm. Not actually going to be easy to get in there. And then the other way. I wonder if number 17 opens. Probably not. Like, they do actually hear me if I swim up there. There's, I'm obviously making a lot of noise. So, probably... Safe for me if I don't. Does that other guard go in a big loop here? Or is he going to come back from that way? How do I get in there without being spotted? I really don't think I can. So I'm just going to swim again. Try and stay low. Alright. I'm not hearing uh, 
anything. Maybe they, maybe they actually saw me in the water before. And this time they didn't, because I was a little more careful. So, Zach Sermon. Let's see what we can find out. Just lock the door, make sure the guards can't come in and uh, get in my way. There's a light switch, but I don't think I need it. He's got a banner. Banners must die. If at all possible. Hmm. Cheap wine. Nothing in there. How about this banner? Well, that one can't be cut, cut down. Haha. Because it's hiding a passage. <clears throat> Alright, Zach, I'm gonna take your goods. Uh, by all means, charge me for them later. Garrett, no doubt you've managed to enter my home and found this hideout. As I'm sure you'll understand, I won't show my face around here for a while. I'll stay at my girlfriend Sally's. She works as a maid at the Merry Widow Inn. Go there later tonight and knock on the shutters next to the inn's back door. I promise tonight you'll get the pharmacy key. Sorry for the setback. I hope you'll find a way to kill time. To make up for the delay, I'll give you a tip. A jeweler named Nolan arrived at the inn a week ago. He hired the only room with a safe inside, and this means a lot. The room is number seven. The inn is closed at night, but knowing you, I bet that you'll find another way in. Good luck, Zack. Shutters next to the Merry Widow is inn's back door. All right. Uh, uh, where are we? This affair is really testing your patience tonight. To make the wait more worthwhile, gather 4,000 loot. <laughs> Zack's suggestion sounds interesting. Find a way to sneak into Nola's room at the Merry Widow Inn. Once all your other objectives are fulfilled, go to the back of the Merry Widow Inn and knock on the shutters. Hopefully Zack will give you the blessed key. Better be worthwhile. I'm starting to lose patience. You and me both. But, uh... You've got a nice full of stuff here, Zack, so thanks for making it available to me. Actually left me a note saying it's okay, that's very kind. Let's make sure if the guards do come in here, that they won't discover your secret hiding spot. Okay, is the Merry Widow Inn shown on the map? Merry Widow Inn is indeed. Uh, 4,000 loot. Dear, dear, that's a lot. It's an awful lot. And I have about 1,200? 11, 1142. Where's Zach's key? Uh, did I check upstairs? Yes, I did. Uh, Alright, down to go again. Wait, I'm not gonna need Zach's I'm not gonna need Zach's home key again, am I? Let's just let's just leave it here. Well, I can't drop it. Oh well, let's keep it then. Oh, they heard me again. No matter. Right, where am I going now? I guess... Towards Market Square, that's really... Oh, you saw me. I'm not gonna help. Oh, uh, wait. Bit of a dead end as far as the canal is concerned, is it? Oh, or not. Okay. Interesting. Secret behind the waterfall, of course. What have we got? Oh, uh, that's locked. And I don't have a key. Hmm. Um. 
Interesting. So that's here. We need a key there. I know I need a way on this canal. Doesn't involve getting secured. I wonder if that's a house I can get into. Number 14. I don't know. Suddenly doesn't seem safe to uh, hang about there. Outside the bank. Looks like it's nothing. You think? Right, so this is the bank that I'm uh, at right now. I wonder if there's a back way in. Watch controlling. So Roland Burton. Wait, so <clears throat> Oh, is this this is uh the people not the fifteen twelve key uh, code. Interesting. Ooh. Ventilation hatch. Well, this isn't taking me into the bank. And I'm obviously wanting to get into the bank at some point. There's a back gate with a ladder as well. Where? Wait, does this take me? <laughs> So we'll find out. Well, let's hope your floor is nice and quiet here, mate. Dear Roland, sorry for the delay answering, but I've gotten quite busy the last few days. Finally, I have gotten the advertising posters for the inn displayed all over the district. Business is going very well, much better since Norman has gone. The Merry Widow Inn is going to become one of the most renowned places in the city. It's quite funny when you think that it was Norman himself that decided on the name for the inn. I'm a Merry Widow indeed now, in spite of people's belief that the Tapper has escaped with his lover. I will never forget the day I discovered the secret passage between your house and the inn, and how I felt betrayed and humiliated. I have no remorse for what we have done, and you shouldn't either. Sue Anne used to run into her lover's arms every time you were out of town. Everyone in the district but you and I knew of their affair. They got what they deserved, believe me. Don't be afraid, as I'm sure no one will unearth our secret. Who would ever notice the switch on your door jam? As for me, it was just by accident that I hit the switch under the shelf, and the lumber room was always locked anyway, so don't be worried. In regard to your proposal, well, I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but I have to refuse. I've been hurt. My heart is broken, you know. It will take time before I can trust a man again. Nothing personal, of course. I'm completely absorbed by the inn management now. My only desire is to forget what happened and reorganise my life. Why can't we just be good friends? You may come to the inn whenever you want to have a chat and a cup of coffee. You will always be welcome, but please don't ask me for anything else. Not now. Let time heal my in injuries. Well... People writing uh, in great detail about their secret passages. It's, uh, 
Smart move. All right, sleep. Stop snoring. He has an open window as well. Looking out over the street to the east. He also has another safe deposit box key. Uh, that leaves me with that means I've got what numbers three. Where are they? Here? Three, seven, twelve, and nine. So switch on the door jam, huh? No one will ever notice this. Secret passage. Uh, you really probably don't want to leave uh, Norman and Sue Ann here. They will start to stink quite a lot. Alright, so there's a Merry Widow Inn. Uh, so there's a guy, Nolan, here that we need to rob, right? Stairs. Oh, the door stairs are locked. He was in room seven. Which is possibly this room. I can't say. Clothing. Pocket watch. Is that it? Oh no, okay, there's a safe. I thought it was a window. Nolan's Journal. Here I am in the delightful district of Wayside, acting as a jewel trader this time. Fortunately, as a stranger coming from outside the city, I can keep my real name, Nolan. The city council hired me to investigate the local sheriff, some bloke by the name of Reuben Varden. He is suspected of connivance with baby kidnappers, smugglers, fencers, and pimps. He is also thought to be guilty of intentional negligence during investigations and other such niceties. Wow, quite a lot of stuff for a single man. As usual, they have no evidence, and my task is to find it. Right, well, we uh, snuck into Nolan's room and stole his money. Let's put his clothes back where he left them, shall we? Yeah, as best as the game engine lets us do. Oh, there's uh, actual numbers about the doors. Personnel only. Seven. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Stairs. So well, number six doesn't open. So back to the secret passage here. Where is the switch under the shelf? Ah, oh, there it is. Not that I need it. So I'll close it from this side. Okay. Um, let me say back out again. Out the window. Out the way I came. <sighs> A safer way out to the alley. That's not getting me into the bank, which is kind of what I was after, but um, the market square. Uh, it hasn't changed too much, but they've uh, replaced the fountain with a little place for people to sit and play the harp. Merry Widow Inn. And uh, Officer Benny is not standing on the uh, bridge. It also seems to be... Hmm. 
In my memory, all the market stalls are on the north side, not the... I'm moving them wrong. My memory's probably wrong now. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I'm actually just waiting until I can knock you out, but uh, I forgot about that as I was on my way back. You distracted thief is uh, problem. Let me relieve you of that purse. And of that consciousness you don't need. Search. Alright. So back around the front of the bank. Uh, I think I can maybe get him if I just run in quickly enough. I don't like the looks of that. Oops. Yeah, I probably should have waited, huh? Hmm. It's not a murder, you idiot. I saw someone earlier. Where are you, Tappe? Do you like the look of this place? Grab that as a as a screenshot. Well, I can't easily do that just now, so go it off the video later. Oh, he saw me again. Um. Freddy Oaken, canals and sewer maintenance, that sounds like a, a useful place to be. Nope. Closed due to morning. In case of emergency, contact Mrs. Alberta. One Colma Close. Where's Colma Close? Down here. Oh, he saw me again. Bye. Uh. Where does this bring me? Okay. Number one. So she must be the person with the sewer access keys or something. Visual by the bed, or what? <coughs> okay, so she goes in there, which is probably another door I can't open. in that hallway, which I will be able to get to, I guess. Hmm. Gotta wait till she comes out. <laughs> oh, the air is getting so 
filthy filthy. It is filthy filthy, yeah. Filthy. Uh, can I turn the lights off? Nope. Poor Freddy is gone. What a pity. He was a good, kind man, and I will miss him a lot. A few moments before dying, he called me close to him, and he whispered in a faint voice, The money box. 18. And he thrust a key into my hand. The box? What box are you talking about? But he went on saying, 18. 18. And then he passed away without being able to add any more. I've been to the bank, but they told me that a deposit box under his name just doesn't exist. And in any case, that it wasn't one of their keys. Back home, I've searched everywhere to find at least a clue about the meaning of that 18, but I found nothing. In the meantime, Freddy's brother sent me a message. I will arrive tomorrow. Don't touch anything. What a bastard. Who took care of Freddy all these years? Who cooked and cleaned for him and washed his clothes when he came home after working in the canals and sewers? And where was his beloved brother when Freddy was sick? We didn't see him even once. I must find that box before the taffer arrives. Assuming that it's hidden here in the house. Mm. What's that? Ah, I give up! It's alright. Uh. Just sleep. You know, have maybe a headache, but nothing worse. Uh eighteen, okay. What is this eighteen? I mean, that's assuming it's hidden here in the house. So it could be 18 Grand Canal. Um, oh, this key was kind of near the canals, right? This this locked box. Maybe that's what the key is for. Mysterious key. I don't know. I didn't see if there was a number 18 there. there. Don't think he's got any, you know, any secret passages in this house. It's not big enough. So let's try that key in that bit of the canal. Actually, can I get down from here without using that? I can get down from here safely without using that. I think I can. Safely and quietly. Alright, here's the sewers. No access. Oh. Somebody hiding money down behind uh, a turbine. There's a note that someone was hiding uh, a deposit box key beside, behind the turbine in front of the Mary Widow. But that's not the one I just found. Market Square. Hmm. It's a very good vision. He's a little bit drunk. So he's, he's not the only guard that patrols Market Square, so I do need to keep an eye out for other City Watch people. Sal. Oh, I see. see what's right. Sal has passed out. He was drinking much too much. You don't need to worry about it. Uh, the cheese makers. Uh, all right. So I saw this person before and thought it was Barrack fighting, but it's not. It's Barrack racing. Okay. The guard's definitely gone, so I can. Wander a little more freely. Winding Road, that's a good name. Um, I don't want to explore Winding Road just yet. We'll come back to Market Square in a minute. Ooh. I'll just, just pull the wine that he was drinking. Alright, oh, this is the bank, that's right.
Oh god, he's seen me. How come he's so damn on edge? It's been a lot of ages since I was last there. He shouldn't he should have calmed down. Alright. You play the games you want to play, mate. I'm not a fan of Fortnite. I'm playing this because I want to play it. So I guess I get around the other side of the bank. <laughs> Mysterious key. Indeed. That's the key I was looking for. Hello mate, I'm just I'm just here. That guy in front of the bank, I'm probably gonna need to use uh, a flash bomb on him. I've only got one. Because he is amazingly uptight. Oops. Where am I trying to go? Oh, maybe I can just wait here in the dark for him. That's a thought. Does she actually come here? We just came across this bridge, right? Oh. William, you deserve a promotion for being uh, the only guard who seems alert tonight, but you'll probably not get a promotion because you'll be found unconscious on the street like all the rest of them. Can I get in the bank? First, let's uh, move Mr. Walton to a shadowy corner. I don't think anyone else will actually come by, but if they do, they don't need to see him there and they screaming about murder, unnecessarily. <laughs> Wayside Bank. What do you know? The, uh, there is a door. But it is locked and we need the key. Hmm. What is the key that I've got? Captain Crook's home, but I don't know where Captain Crook lives. Guess I'll find that later. He certainly doesn't live in the bank. Can I climb this fence? Probably not. No. Okay. So. Back to Market Square and explore around there. Oh, oh, 
be going the wrong way entirely. That's west, I should be going east. That's back to Zach's house. Who are you? More importantly, where are you? Is from a house nearby with an open window. Odd. In there? There weren't any guards in that house, were there? Maybe there were, maybe I need to check a little more carefully. Where's this guard going? Brenda, sleep next to your colleague there. on the roof. Don't know. Oh, there's... Alright, yeah, this is this house here. Which I broke into before. And there must be a guard there, a private guard they have, who only comes out if there's trouble. This place I can only get to by jumping. I need to try that again then. Surely there's a uh, value in getting there. There we go. You can do it. It's a warm night, otherwise, uh... Uh, don't worry about me, I'm not trying to break into your place. I'm not threatening you. I'm just being very, very bad at acrobatics here. Exceedingly bad. Right, uh, another try. Whoops. Oh, well, I... Okay, I guess that works. Maybe. We'll climb on the light. Interesting. From the light, I can get to the metal pipe, but again, that doesn't help me get to the balcony there. And this light's not quite long enough for a run-up. There we are. I was playing cards and left some money on the table. Right, so climbing on the lap was the easiest way to get here, okay. Alright, back to business. So I was heading towards Market Square and checking out these houses that I've not been to. Oh, hello. Wait, am I. Kind of been heading west again. This is uh, outside Zach's. Why do I keep getting turned around? I should keep my compass out all the time. Yeah, there's two guards guarding Zach's place. 
Do I have any money? No, I don't think so. But I think they can learn to sleep. But I wonder if the other one's named Ernie. That'll be amusing. Oh, what the hell happened there? He does have money. Oh. oh, it's Bob. Bob and Bert. Well, I didn't need to knock him out. But, let's keep the streets safe for thieves, shall we? Don't this city watch running around. I don't need to go back into Zach's place, but... Um, Alright, Market Square is east. Keep going east this time, Garrett. Make the jump, can we go? Oh, there's another guard. There's another guard, he says, as he walks right into him. Oh, he saw me. Oh, that was uh, particularly bad timing. That's what impatience gets me. Come on, mate. Andreas. You should do a better, better job of searching next time. You might catch a criminal. So this is the Merry Widow Inn, where we have to... Uh, go to the back and knock on the shutters. Uh, once all other objectives are fulfilled, which means loot, I suppose. Do we really want that much loot? I don't know, but... Uh, surely there's got to be a way to get in the back, given all these safety deposit, safety deposit box keys. How do I get up here? Guards. Guards. Well, good thing they were not very attentive. That's the didn't see me. Seventeenth Street. Felicia, you can sleep here. And your colleague here will join you shortly. I've uh, relieved him of his money. <coughs> Albert. Come on. Alright, so that's the shutters at the back. That's where we have to... The back of the Mary Widow Inn. That's where we have to go when we want the key. Once all other objectives are complete. Now there's a 
found the deposit box key hiding around here somewhere. Do I have the note? There was the note. Is it this one? Nope. Well, I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore, but I can't drop it. Uh, let's knock on the shelters. Thief's note. Deposit box key. It's worth nothing. Hit it behind the turbine in front of the pharmacy. Oh, not in front of the inn. Alright. I don't need this note anymore, but leaving it on the street is so we let's leave it in the cart. Can we break into the jewelers? Oh, I'm going to need a key to get in. Is there a key? I don't want to break the window if I don't have to. Uh, there's a key to narrow lane that someone dropped in the sewers, apparently. But I don't know where. Someone left a note in the police station about it. Who lives here? Aha, Mr. Joe and Gloria Cook. Well, I have the key to Mr. Cook's house. Joe? Is that you? What do you want? You stay away from me. Ah, uh, okay, there's something definitely going on between them. Oh, they've got another deposit box key. But that's not all of them. There's still more deposit box keys around. Uh, I don't want anything with you, I just want all your money. What's the doll? Dewdrop. Hello again, Dewdrop. Gloria, do you like the doll I sent you? His name is Dewdrop. Keep it with you and I will always be near your heart. Do you think that because I'm a pagan that I'm not capable of deep and true sentiments? Oh, Gloria, I am. I love you with all my heart. That rude man doesn't deserve a sweet creature like you. I would treat you like a fragile flower. I wish to de dedicate this poem to you. We should have a land of sun, of gorgeous sun. And a land of fragrant water, where the twilight is a soft band and a handkerchief of rose and gold. And not this land where life is cold. We should have a land of trees, of tall thick trees. Bowed down with chattering parrots, brilliant as the day. And not this land where birds are grey. Ah, we should have a land of joy, of love and joy and wine and song. And not this land where joy is wrong. Let's run away together, my love. And write more terrible poetry. Uh, Alright, well, Gloria has locked herself in here, and uh, that's fine by me. All the valuables are needed are out the front. Okay, where is she now? Oh, well, there's not an open window. I, should need, I do need to keep my uh, eyes up for, to the, on, be on the lookout for open windows above places, though. Hmm. Ooh, someone left a valuable flute under the chair. Who leaves their musical instruments lying around on the street in the middle of the night? That's uh, just asking for them to be stolen. Alright. What's here? A hole. I've got a portcullis, but it only stops boats, not people diving. <sighs> Uh, does that help me at all? That door doesn't open. Yeah, it would appear not to help me at all. Although, somebody dropped a ring in the water. Okay. I'll make sure that gets to its rightful owner, i.e. my fence. 2300 loot. We're on the way to the 5000 gold. Now, how do I get up to here? This is what I was trying to do when I was so rudely interrupted by those patrolling guards. There's also, possibly something up there. I don't know. Uh, maybe I get around from the other side, on the eastern side. I'll go around and have a look. Uh, 
Oh, he's the security office. Alright, so this is a pharmacy. And, uh... Where's a guard? Behind this turbine... Maybe we should find another safety deposit box key. Yes, no. This is the turbine, right? Where's the thief's note? Thief's note. I hid it behind the turbine in front of the pharmacy. That's definitely this. Oh, there it is. So now we've got 10, 9, 10, 12, 3, 4, 7. Oh dear, how many of them are there? Uh, collect them all, optional. There must be 12. Raw passage. Nobody goes there. Why don't you come down this passage, huh? Nope. You got a friend. With a lamp. I can't hide in a dark corner. Can't hide in a dark corner from him. He'll just see me as he walks up. So you better sleep, mate. Sid. Sleep there. Where your archer friend has gone. I might have to deal with him soon. Right, so this is the place I was trying to get to. Oh, well, the archer's not anywhere near. Let's let's go rob this balcony. If I can. Ugh, getting stuck here. in the house, but somebody left a golden cup. I'll make it mine. Let's go slowly and quietly. Or not. Ah, oh, here's the answer. It's kind of sad, there's no birds around anymore. Stan. Okay, what about up here? Who lives here? Somebody just sleep, is this a stone floor or a tile floor? I don't know. I guess snoring. Stop your snoring. <laughs> Mr. Pratt, once again I want to extend to you my personal appreciation for the excellent work you and Mr. Hardy have done with the security system installation in my mansion. I'm especially happy with the new intelligent camera. I'm sure that it will prove its unique usefulness quickly. As for the proposal to become a member of our club, I was much disappointed by Mr. Hardy's quick refusal. He is a family man, you said. Well, you have no idea how many so-called family men we count among our regular customers. Of course, my obligation to be discreet prevents me from disclosing any names. However, as I told you during our last meeting, if you wish, I will send you a special guest invitation. It is not binding in any way. If you come to one of our Saturday meetings, you can take a look around and then decide if the circle is to your liking. About those special preferences you alluded to, we are able to accommodate them all. Remember, we guarantee total anonymity. And the only obligation we require is absolute secrecy, whether you decide to become a member or not. Please let me know your decision before Saturday. If you decide to accept, I will send you the invitation and more detailed instructions. Best regards, 
Alexandros. So this is Mr. Pratt's house. And Mr. Pratt snores. Mr. Pratt of Pratt and Hardy security systems. Do they use their own security systems to protect their own uh, officers? Who would appear not? That seems a little short sighted. And they have a nice big breakable glass window here. How about that? Ah, uh, display model tips. Not sure why someone just ran off there. Oh, there's some hammerheads running around. Must have heard me. Or see me. Oh, I see. There's a uh, hammerite hanging around up on the east there. Hammerite compound. Well, I guess that makes sense. Keep you. Hmm. I could drop down there, but it looks high enough that I'm probably going to hurt myself. Probably rather wait till this <laughs> fine fellow has moved on. All right. So they're patrolling Winding Road. I remember that. No, 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 no. Why would you? Why would you think something had moved there? There's nothing there at all. You just imagined it. Nice uniform. Nice money. Sean. So where are we now? Going south, I guess we're around here. Oh, there's uh, somebody has a house here. Can I pick the lock from out here? No. It's just too far away. Maybe if I stand on the window ledge. Yes, I can just reach and get my uh, lockpicks into that. Good, good. Well, so much for your security on your home there. <sighs> Mighty claws. Mr. Mullins, it has come to my attention that the precious golden ring I was rash enough to buy some days ago is a possession of yours. Dear sir, I hope that you will not consider me responsible for its theft in any way. Mine is a hard trade to manage here in the walled quarter. You know, people bring me all manner of goods in order to scrape up some money. I always assume that these are their possessions. What else can I do? Unfortunately, sometimes it happens that the items have been stolen, just like the ring I mentioned. I know some items have more sentimental and material value, which is why I do what I can to help return such pieces to the legitimate owners. On the other hand, you have to understand that I paid for the ring out of my own pocket. I hope we can come to an agreement on the matter. We can meet at any time in my shop, Otis's Bazaar, in the Walled Quarter. Best regards, Otis. Hmm. It's the second letter we've had from Otis. 
he seems to make a habit of uh, finding people's stolen goods and then selling them back to them. It uh, must be a lucrative trade. get up there. Don't really see how I would. I do, however, see an interesting looking wooden beam there above that uh, suspicious looking banner. I am. I am suspicious. But I'm also worried about that lamp. If I throw a rope arrow in there, the lamp's just gonna get in the way. Oh, it's alright. Lamp's gonna get in the way of my climbing. Hmm. Try one on this side. Oh, that's better. Hopefully. Can I? Can I get up there? <laughs> Aha! Aha! He says as he falls to the ground. Of nice interior and exterior paintings of the area. Very nice. Now, um, there's actually a new area added in the final version of the map. These are the screenshots that uh, Lady Rowena made of the second and third missions. This is the inside of the manor house, uh, as is this. And uh, the one that used to be Constantine's Manor, so the layout should look a little familiar. It's been massively uh, redecorated and improved in appearance since Thief 1. And uh, this is must be the walled quarter, which is based off uh, the old court, the old walled off ru ruined old quarter from the Haunted Cathedral. The three, the set of three maps was all. Uh, a um, reworks of three thief maps into a new campaign, with a you know complete overhaul of the maps and complete redesign of uh, the places. And there's the Weary Tapper Inn. Uh, unfortunately, these screenshots I think is all we will ever see of these those two missions, which is a shame. All right, can I get down without killing myself? I can. All right. Uh, back on Market Square. Oh, apples. That's a lot of fruit I've got, even though I don't need it. I've not been losing health. All right, back to... Well, winding road, I guess. Find these hammerites. See if I can steal some goods from them. What's the pharmacy? Oh, I hear footsteps. That must be the fellow who saw me uh, in the security place. Security shop. Which reminds me, I haven't robbed the jeweler yet either. Oh. Oh dear. Seen by guard, and the body was found by the hammer, right? That was uh, a little premature of me then. No, no, of course you're not all right. Sorry. 
Are you alright? No. No, of course you're not alright. Sorry. He says to the uh, unconscious body on the floor. Nice. Alright, um... Now nah, let's just dismiss Gary to watch them, shall we? Oh. The Hammerite dude is, uh... Given up the search already. He's less concerned about his, uh... Fellow lying unconscious in the street than this private guard is. Alright, well, I'm gonna to need to wait for these guys to calm down a bit. And, uh, while I do that, it sounds like a perfect time for me to go make another cup of tea. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you here for the next episode.